So this is for Eugenia Cooney, which I'm sure she's never going to see this, but maybe some of her fans will see this. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of her fans talk with her. Some of them do. But I just want to let you know, Eugenia, it's about time for you to grow up, especially right now with everything going on. You've created, you're, you're a slave to yourself right now, to all your toys and your stuffed animals and all your makeup palettes and your eating disorder and everything. I'm telling you right now, you have a demon. You have a nasty, nasty demon. And it's a insect, what, what, what's the word, a parasitic demon. There you go. You have a parasitic demon and it's eating you from the inside out, literally. And the, you're, you've surrounded yourself in this child's fantasy land. And you're a grown-ass woman. It's time to literally become a fucking woman. You, you can't be a kid forever. And you trying to be a kid forever is literally killing you. Slowly but surely. Don't you miss out? Like, you miss, you're missing out on life. Like, your whole world just revolves on, oh, this makeup palette is so beautiful, blah, 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 it's so pretty, it's so cool, and blah, blah, blah. Like, God, I'm sorry, but you have to be real miserable deep inside. Really, really deep down, dark, depressed, and oppressed. And I believe it's a demon. And I think it's a really, really nasty one. I think, like, literally, Eugenia, I think the Vatican needs to uh, authorize a uh, exorcism for you because this thing has been holding on to you so long and it's so comfortable with you the way you are. You know, I watched Eugenia Cooney's videos. I know this is totally weird to, uh, to the Haters Inc. group and everything and totally off subject, but I watch Eugenia Cooney videos because, like I said, it's a psychological study and I've always wanted to be a therapist, so it's interesting seeing how she acts and reacts and stuff to things. And it makes so much sense, I swear to God, if you pretend she's not talking to a camera and is talking to a little demon sitting somewhere next to her or something, it just makes it so creepy and eerie, but makes so much sense. And I swear, you, if, if you don't do something about it, Eugenia, or all, all you Eugenia fans, I swear to God, you have to... You have to write the Vatican and tell them that this girl needs an exorcism. And I swear, this demon that she has is really, really, really rare. It really is a very rare demon. I don't know what the name of it is, but I've heard of it before about how it likes to hold people in their childhood the way that it, it's doing with her and and attaches themselves to objects like teddy bears and stuffed animals and stuff like that. And this is like, it's become so powerful that the Vatican needs to exercise this thing and attack it before. It. What's going to happen too is it's going to grow and grow and grow. And then once Eugenia passes, it's going to go to somebody else. It's going to go to somebody who's very similar. And she has such a huge following that it's so easy for this demonic mentality to spread to others. We need to get Eugenia some kind of help, free herself from this enslavement she's put herself in. And a lot of it's her mom's fault, really is. Her mom is completely psychologically warped. I think that Eugenia needs to be removed from her mother completely. That woman does not deserve to have a daughter, especially with, with what's going on. She hasn't tried to stop her at all. But I, I don't know what made me think about that before I'm going to bed. I guess it was because of the comments that I'm getting. People are liking my comments of, oh, excuse me, people are liking my comment of, Eugenia Cooney, you have a demon and it loves you this way. As simple as that. But I just want to put that out there. If anyone, you know, is a Eugenia 